This video will provide information on HeatTrack's residential products. HeatTrack is the world's only manufacturer of electric heating mats for melting snow on walkways and stairs. Through this video, you will learn how to install and operate HeatTrack's connectable snow melting mats. Please note this video will not discuss HeatTrack's industrial mats, which are larger and do not connect. HeatTrack's residential products include the following Walkway mat, 20 inches wide by 60 inches long Stair mat, 10 inches by 30 inches Power unit to connect your mats to an outlet 20 inch cable extender and 25 foot cable extender which may or may not be necessary depending on your application All products interconnect so that you can create any combination of mats to cover any size area Please note, some retailers sell each item separately, and some bundle them into sets. Be sure to read the details of what's included in your package. HeatTrack also manufactures a heating doormat. This mat is a standalone item and does not connect to other mats. All HeatTrack mats require a 120 volt electrical outlet. Make sure your outlets are properly grounded. Please be aware that to operate the mats, you will need to go outside to turn them on. If you'd like to automatically control the mats from inside your home, visit our website for a selection of accessories. Heat track mats are waterproof and designed to be left outside all winter long. Put them out before the winter starts and turn them on when you expect snow. To connect walkway mats and stair mats, align the mats so the connectors are on the same side. Connect each mat using the male and female connectors. Connect walkway mats to walkway mats. Connect walkway mats to stair mats. Connect stair mats to stair mats. When walkway mats are connected, there will be a space of approximately three inches between each mat. In certain instances, you may need a 20 inch cable extender to create longer cable lengths between mats. Follow this rule. Starting from the power unit, whenever a stair mat leads to a walkway mat, you will need a 20 inch extender. After the mats are connected, use the power unit to connect your system to a properly grounded electrical outlet. The power unit has a six foot cord. If your outlet is more than six feet away from the mats, you will need HeatTrack's 25 foot cable extender, HREXT25. This extender is watertight and safer than a standard outdoor extension cord. To check that the mats are connected properly, remove the light tester from the power unit and insert it into the last mat of your system. If all the mats are connected properly, the light tester will illuminate. Leave the light tester attached to your system all winter long. Press the reset button on the power unit to turn the mats on, and press the test button to turn the mats off. Check to see that the light tester is illuminated when the mats are turned on. If not, you will need to check the connections to each mat. One of them may not be properly connected. The mats contain grommet holes. Although not necessary to operate the mats, you may want to screw the mats down to secure them in place. Turn the mats on at least a half hour before the snow starts to fall. This way, the mats will melt the snow on contact. You may turn the mats on after the snow has fallen, though it may take longer for the snow to melt. Be sure to keep the mat on for a few hours after the snow has stopped because you may have water runoff. These mats will work effectively down to negative five degrees Fahrenheit and melt snow at a rate of approximately two inches per hour. You can connect up to 15 amps on one power unit. Each stair mat is 0.6 amps and each walkway mat is 2.5 amps. So you can connect either 15 stair mats, five walkway mats, or any combination thereof on a single power unit. If you are connecting more than this, you will need a second power unit. Heat track mats can be used on most surfaces, including concrete, asphalt, stone, and wood decks. However, some decks are made out of plastic or composite materials, which can cause adverse effects to the mat. If you have a deck made of composite material, you should place plywood under the mats to allow the heat to distribute properly. Finally, when operating your mats, remember these important rules. These mats are for snow melting only. Mats should never be covered, never be used indoors, and never be used for animals or for animal houses. Heat track mats are for foot traffic and wheelchairs only. Mats cannot be driven on by automobiles. Thank you for using Heat Track. 
the easier, cleaner, safer, more reliable, better for your back, your mailman will love you. Snow Removal Solution.